The film opens with a voiceover explaining why Casablanca is an important destination for people wanting to escape Europe and the advancing Nazi army. From French-controlled Casablanca, they can fly to Lisbon and then get passage to America. But getting to Casablanca is not easy, and getting out of Casablanca is even harder. The French police broadcast the murder of two German couriers. The perpetrator is believed headed to Casablanca. German officer Major Strasse arrives in Casablanca on special assignment. French commander Captain Renault greets him and promises a demonstration of French police efficiency that evening at Rick's. That night at Rick's, Ugate speaks with Rick. You despise me, don't you? Well, if I gave you any thought, I probably would. He wants Rick to hold some letters of transit for him, which he will sell later that evening. Rick agrees to hide the papers and points out that the two dead German couriers were carrying letters of transit. Rick and Captain Renault have an exposition conversation. It begins outside the cafe with one of my favorite lines. And what in heaven's name brought you to Casablanca? My health. I came to Casablanca for the waters. The waters? What waters? We're in the desert. I was misinformed. Captain Renault tells Rick that he will be arresting Ugati and wants no interference. He also tells Rick that Victor Laszlo is coming and he doesn't want Rick helping him either. Rick explains he has no interest in politics. Captain Renault disagrees and reveals some of Rick's backstory. Rick fought against the fascists in Spain and Ethiopia. Major Strasse arrives and Captain Renault has Ugate arrested. I stick my neck out for nobody. Major Strasse is in Casablanca to detain Victor Laszlo and is concerned Rick might interfere. Again, Rick explains he has no interest in politics. Victor Laszlo and Elsa enter Rick's cafe. They have come to Rick's to meet Ugate and purchase the letters of transit. Major Strasse approaches Victor Laszlo and tells him to come to his office the following day. Laszlo meets a member of the resistance and is told that Ugate has been arrested. Elsa sees Sam and asks him to play as time goes by. This brings Rick to her table. A dramatic note lets us know that this is an emotional moment. Laszlo and Captain Renault joined them. But of course that was the day the Germans marched into Paris. I remember every detail. The Germans wore gray, you wore blue. That night, Rick drinks alone. In a flashback, he remembers their love affair in Paris. Even though the Germans were invading and crushing civilization, for them, life was bright and beautiful, filled with promise. They are supposed to meet at the train and leave together. Instead, Rick gets a note that says goodbye forever. His heart is broken. That night, Elsa comes and tries to explain, but Rick is too lost in pain, self-pity, and alcohol to hear her. The next day, the threat from Major Strasse increases. He tells Laszlo he will not leave Casablanca alive. Rick runs into Elsa at the Blue Parrot. His cynical heart still cannot see the truth. Ferrari of the Blue Parrot tells Laszlo that Rick has Ugate's stolen letters of transit. A Bulgarian woman asks Rick what kind of man is Captain Renault. Rick says one of my favorite lines. Oh, he's just like any other man, only more so. She asks that if she sleeps with Captain Renault, will he keep his promise and give her two visas? Rick says another of my favorite lines, which I often quote. Everybody has problems. Yours may work out. Rick demonstrates he still has a heart. One of the emotional highs of the story is the scene of the competing national anthems, which results in a turning point. Captain Renault shuts down Rick's cafe at Major Strasse's request. I'm shocked, shocked to find that gambling is going on in here. Laszlo asks Elsa if there's anything she wants to tell him about Paris. He then leaves for a meeting with the resistance. Elsa goes to Rick and pulls a gun and demands the letters of transit. Rick realizes she still loves him. She explains she thought her husband was dead. Rick once again has a purpose, but it isn't yet clear what it is. Laszlo runs from the police. He hides in Rick's cafe. Laszlo tells Rick that he knows he loves Elsa. He used the letters of transit to leave Casablanca and to take Elsa with him. Rick realizes Laszlo loves Elsa as much as he does. Then the police crash in and arrest Laszlo.
The next day, Rick goes to Captain Renault and explains his plan to set up Laszlo on more serious charges. Captain Renault agrees. Rick sells his cafe to Ferrari of the Blue Parrot. That evening, when Rick hands the stolen letters of transit to Laszlo, Captain Renault comes out of the shadows to make the arrest. But Rick pulls out his gun and points it at Captain Renault. Rick tells Captain Renault to call the airport and make sure the flight to Lisbon goes as planned. Renault pretends to call the airport, but instead calls Major Strasse. At the airport, Rick surprises everyone by giving the letters of transit to Victor and Elsa Laszlo. Rick makes this sacrifice for the greater good. He makes this sacrifice for love. The feeling I get from this scene is like watching my favorite baseball team hit a game-winning home run in the bottom of the ninth of the World Series. There are many good lines in this speech, but only one is succinct enough to be memorable. We'll always have Paris. Major Strasse arrives and tries to prevent the plane from leaving. Rick shoots him. The police arrive. Captain Renault and Rick look at each other. Captain Renault says the classic line. Round up the usual suspects. They watch the plane take off. Captain Renault congratulates Rick on becoming a patriot. Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Thank you.